Hey, what is up, guys? Zach here, and welcome back to another episode of Hexit. So today, I, uh, I guess I'm just going to continue on and see how it goes. So many things to do. Last episode, I left you guys off with, uh, kind of, I don't really know, just so many options of things to do. So, uh, well, welcome back. And I asked on Twitter whether you guys would like to watch a new episode of The Walking Dead or some more Hexit. And Hexit seemed to be uh, the popular choice among the crowd, so we'll be doing that. Uh, I just want to get these cool glowy plants. People tell me that they glow at night. Um, and then we can also get those iron blocks and check out these fountains. And we'll check out that kingdom thing in a bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure I collected all the guy's sows. Oh, no, one up there. So with these, we can go get chocobos. I got 25. I learned that to get chocobos, you need to... <gasps> is that a mammoth? What? How, what is a mammoth doing in the middle of, like, a plains biome? Oh, well. So what I learned is that you use Geisal Greens to tame chocobos. And when you mate chocobos together, you get a diff Or when you mate two yellow chocobos, you get a different colored chocobo. And it's a whole bunch of cool stuff. How am I going to get up there? wood seems like a safe plan with that mammoth just like chilling in the distance right here let's go and those iron blocks will help us out we can make full iron armor it's kind of hard to jump in place oh also there's no face cam in this video uh the last time i last video i made i did a face cam with it and it was just terrible quality but i uploaded it anyways just so you guys could see so I'm going to be getting a new face cam kind of thing. I don't know when that may be, but it should be pretty awesome. And I will get back to you when I have more updates on that. I did get an intro though, and I really like it. It's the song I chose, kind of. Not the full song I chose, but uh, he did a great job on it. If you didn't see it, it's at the beginning of this video, so I don't know how you couldn't have seen it. Unless you just like skipped the intro. It's only like eight seconds. I like it, but uh, you can leave your your uh, your opinions in the comments. I really should have baked these potatoes. Is there anything in here? Or is it just like a solid? It looks like a solid tower. Let's try to make it over to that uh, little kingdom village for the night. We'll also try to kill that blue slime. Blue slimes are somewhat valuable. Ow. Uh, there's also some pigs down there. Do I have an axe with me? No, I don't really want to have to break all this wood either. Looks like I'm jumping. Not from this height, though. That would just be silly. So I'll go three blocks down, and then I'll jump. John, you're such a genius. Oh, I know. Okay. And does this look like a safe jumping distance? I guess we'll find out. Yep. I'm such a daredevil. Where did the ma- oh, it's right there. Oh yeah, the things did open up and they do make light. And I still don't know what this is. It's like gravel ores. Okay, let's go get the rest of these guys sows while all these monsters chase me. And get out- oh, that's not my sword. Get out. I thought my sword was too because the little armor thing. The little chest plate down here confused me. What did I look up emerald for? Oh yeah, I wanted to see what emerald shards do. But I couldn't figure... What is that? A harbinger? It has 160 hearts. Okay, I'm going to avoid you. Maybe. Well, you're already attacking me. I mean, six hearts, 160. That's going to be about... Uh, let's see, six hearts, six hearts. Power hit. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Keep him away. Oh, what? He teleports. Hey, you're not an Enderman, silly. Oh, crap. I'm screwed. Okay, so he doesn't teleport until he knows that I'm going to pretty much... Oh! Okay. Oh. Thank God I don't... What is that? What is that? He's not dead yet. What are those? I'm not going to run into them. I feel like they'll just harm me. Okay. Now he's invisible. Okay. Okay. Come at me, Harbinger. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing on me. You think you can just go invisible and all your problems will go away? Well, you got another thing coming. 
Even though now you're just like not even dying. He's dead. And all I freaking got was a few hearts. Oh, I got an abyss fragment. I feel like that's probably valuable. And I don't know what these things are. And I don't want to touch them because I feel like it, they're like mines. But I want to touch them just in case they're somewhat like important and helpful. So I'm going to put my stuff... Okay, what? There's just a skeleton completely decked out in chainmail armor. That seems fair. Let's see if I can get a better look at him. No, it says he only has 20 hearts. I'm coming back later. I don't think the slime's gonna hurt me that much. Oh, it gave me some hearts. Thank you. Really? I cannot break in that way. What are the... Uh, what is... I just hear like a camera dying noise, but I don't... What? Is going on that place is filled with scary mobs. I am so screwed. Ah crap Can I get in here? That's probably full of mobs, too Let me let me do the only thing I know how to do in Minecraft Run well stack blocks really high so that skeletons can't shoot me Okay Okay, I don't know what is going on here They can't shoot me when I'm this high up I don't have the proper materials for a bed, so I guess I'm going to wait this out, and I guess, I wonder if I can just, I don't want to set it today, that's cheating, I guess I'll just wait it out, so I'll, I'll be back when it's daytime. Uh, before I go, one thing I noticed, those skeletons are like becoming friends over there, that's cool and all, but yeah, okay, bye. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, I can't believe I turned my camera off. So, I'm sitting here for two seconds, all of a sudden, a shooting star comes out of nowhere, lands in the river over there, and then I see more elephants or freaking mammoth things over there, and then there's more towers, and then that looks really scary, and I'm gonna eat some food because I have absolutely no idea what's going on, because this mod is just, or this mod pack is just crazy. I really want to go. What? Where did the shooting star go? Ah, dang it. I feel like it was important. Ah. Yeah. Let's see if I can just set it today. Because there's no way I'm waiting this long. Okay. I'll just let them die. Because they're super overpowered and scary. And I want to go there. But I can't. Because there's an Enderman glitching out up there. Okay, you're okay, John. Let's get out of this. Even though you don't have an axe, so you're probably going to have to jump down again. But not right now. That skeleton will probably kill. I do have an axe. Oh, my God. Why didn't you guys tell me? Be like, Zach, there's an axe at the end of your inventory. And I would have been like, oh, thanks for the heads up. Uh, that skeleton can see me now. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. I don't need Did he just hit the elephant? Ah, oh, you jerk. Yeah. Oh, is he attacking him? Ah, uh, no. He's just... Being a wimp. It's a bird. Hello, bird. Okay. Get some more of these Gaia styles. And I want to hop into this little death village. Well, at night, it's a death village. I now know that this mod is very dangerous at night. So don't be caught off guard at night. There's just mob spawners everywhere. Oh! They are not mob spawners. They're, when you get somewhat near them, they're going to turn into actual guards. Okay, that was easy. Ah, right, you guys are terrible guards. No offense. You only have... You have a shield? What? Ah, that's gonna completely break... He has diamond armor? Okay, apparently these guys are tough at night. Or tough during the day. And there's no way I can take all these guys on at once. That guy's just sitting there. Mm, what about you? Skeleton archer. I wish I had, like, a bow or something. I can make one. I won't have any arrows though. I'm gonna just knock you off because I don't. I don't know if you guys drop anything like valuable. Like if you drop like diamond armor or something, that'd be super cool. But for some odd reason, I highly doubt you would be that helpful to me. Oh, you drop iron, so you must drop diamonds. And if you don't, this was a total waste of my time, and I might die because you're so impossible to kill. And I got him. And yes, I got my six diamond. I can make what I finally want to make. Okay. Let's make it over here, away from that scary village. What? What is this, anyways? Is this hollow on the inside? 
No, but I don't even know what these blocks are. Okay, we're gonna make a crafting table, which is the new logo for uh, the new Minecraft thing. Redwood, what does that make? Makes redwood planks. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, first we want to make a chest. Can we make a chest with redwood planks? I sure hope so. And we can make a double chest. We don't really need a double chest. I just want a chest to put all my crap in that I probably don't want and won't come back for. And I'll put it right there. Okay, we don't need this marble cobblestone. We don't need this redwood. Uh, we can keep the iron for now. Uh, diamonds are helpful. I don't really need barley seeds. Bones are always helpful. Uh, I don't really need bluebells. Emerald shards might come in handy. Arrows might come in handy. Saddles are helpful, kind of. I don't really want this. Oh, wait, these are blueberry bushes. I might be able to make more blueberries with them. I don't know how it works, so I'm going to keep it just in case. Uh, I want the night blooms. I, w I guess I can keep the seeds and the guy's sows. And the cotton seeds and the iris eye uh, and the golden door and the ender pearl. And the, I don't really need orchids, orchids, or lily pads, I really don't need lily pads. I don't know how I got this obsidian or any of this stuff up here. I am very just rambling on and on, I have no idea what's going on. Some life essences. And let's make myself some armor while I'm at it. Uh, what do I have? I have a chest plate. So I need helmet and some boots and some pants and oops. There we go. We got full iron armor. And what you've all been waiting for. Bum 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 what what bum 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 Yes a gi a giant diamond sword. I have no idea what this does, but it looks really cool. So I'm gonna keep it for now. I actually don't need this arrow, and I'm not going to ever need blueberries, because I need to save space. This has a color name, so it must be somewhat important. And let's go. Let's also make... Oh, wait. I was just going to say, let's make a new iron sword. But ha, I, have a, I have a giant diamond sword now that took up six diamonds. And it was totally probably not even worth it, but you know what? We're going to find out. It looks really fat. What is that? When I right click with it, it like, it makes me like invincible for a short amount of time. Do I have any food? I probably should have cooked up some of these things too. I don't have enough cobblestone. Let's just go in there, take them all. Oh, it's going through the secret entrance that I didn't see earlier. Ow. Was that really necessary? I mean, you no harm except for breaking into your village. I feel like this is a trap for some reason. But if it's a way in, it's a way in, am I right? What is that? Okay, we got some uh, defenders over there. Uh, yep, this doesn't look safe. Can I get up through here? Yep. <laughs> look, I figured it out anyways, because I am a boy genius. And all of you can just get out of town, because I got a, di a giant diamond sword. And you can't even touch me right now. And get over here. I'm not done with you. Oh, there's even little villagers. And why are you being such a pain? I can't hit you yet. Oh, you don't even mean any harm to me. Okay. You mean harm to me. The guy with the gold armor is all like, Oh, man, I don't want to hurt you. This guy. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, glitchy outy guy. Oh, now you're after me? Now you're after me? Okay, well, guess what? I have a giant diamond sword, and you ain't got nothing on me. This cast, this castle wizardscape seized from Lord Kankunab by the evil necromancer Markin in 2012. Okay, then. Let's hide in here. I still don't know what right-clicking does. I bet it does, like, a secret super... <gasps> yes! Food! I also got some more essences stuff. And now there's like a lot of mobs all of a sudden. Okay, uh, we got a whole bunch of pork chops. They're not even cooked. But there's a furnace full of coal in here. What is? What are the odds? And then more baked potatoes. What don't we really need? We don't need seeds or string. We don't have enough string to make a bow yet. So we should probably go take out a spider. 
Let's see if we can find a spider to take out. Where did I come up? Came up from right. Hi, Necromancer. Are you evil? Are you evil, sir? I will right click you with a sword, even though I don't know what it does. Necromancer, I don't want to do this. Mainly because I don't know how to use this magical sword yet. And now I'm freaking nauseated. What? Am I gonna die from this? Am I gonna die just because this little jerk is like, get nauseated. And I feel like, oh, I'm actually, I actually am climbing vines. You know what? Look, look away if this might make you nauseous stick. I know not to touch him anymore. Why does it keep switching? Oh, because I pressed two because the little chain man, or the little iron armor thing makes me. You want to go, kid? Do you want to go? I took out one of your weird Grim Reaper friend things that I already forget. The Did you really nauseate me again? Do you really want to go there? I'm going to go find safety in another house. Not because I'm a wimp or anything. Oh god, I feel drunk, and I got through the door safely, and oh my god, it's hurting my eyes. Oh, That guy's such a jerk. Okay, let's uh, get some food out of here. We don't really need to dine on that yet. Okay, is there a bed in here? No, I would really like to be able to like set my home here. I have no idea how to get back to where we started, but I bet I can find it. Okay, we're probably going to come back to this chest before we leave. And there's no point in taking all this stuff with me. All I want to take right now is my sword and my armor and some food. Better food, if allowed. Hey, buddy. I'm coming out to get you. Oh, let me uh, figure out my rough coordinates. Negative 40 and 587. Just so that... Hey, Necromancer! Guess what? I wasn't done with you! Ah, not this again! Yeah, you better run. You better run. Yeah, you better run. Let's see what's in here while I'm freaking nauseated again. Wait, is this the house I was just in? Nope. Yes, please! How do I activate this? I know that I can somehow use this. I know I, like, put it somewhere in a... God dang it, I wish I knew more about this mod. I got an iron shield and a, gold, a glided iron shield and a chest plate and a sword and a freaking awesome looking helmet. Okay. Since there's really no big threats anymore now that that guy left. And I do want to do some more research on this mod. And this looks completely unsafe. So let's try not to activate any magical switches. See what's up here. Anything at all? There's a lever. Oh god, I don't want to press that lever. But I do want to press the lever. YOLO! Ah! I mean, oh darn. Ah. What did I just blow up? I thought I ignited some TNT that would kill me somewhere. <gasps> oh my god! It must be my lucky day. Oh my god. Look at all of these goodies. Oh, some of it's still up there though. How do I get up there without... I have an idea. I'm sorry for my illegal swear. <laughs> I bleeped it out though. <laughs> I don't usually swear, only when I'm really mad or scared or I don't even know. Or when I make a wrong decision. Like, let's turn this strange looking switch, which actually benefited me in the end. But I thought I saw. Yeah, what is that? I feel like I'm missing so many things in this mod pack. <gasps> it's a broken record and some other things. I feel like there's another lever I'm supposed to push to get these. But I don't want to because, I mean, I'm already here. I got some en IO Enders and some music discs. And that is how this episode comes to an end. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and leave your suggestions on what you'd like to see me do with this series. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So, as always, stay sexy. See you guys.